This video will demonstrate how to install an Ultimate Collection composite door. The aperture or space for the new door must be flat, level, straight, plumb and square. There should be a solid structure to fix the frame to and the area clean. Please refer to the Ultimate Collection Door Installation Guide for details relating to site surveys, tools required and additional pre-installation guidance. It is essential that the outer frame is plumb and square within the aperture, without twist, racking or distortion of any member. Repeatedly check the squareness and alignment of the outer frame during the process of installation. When side, top or fan lights have been ordered without welding, couplers will be supplied. The couplers will require cutting to your required size. Measure, cut and fix the coupler to the light. Insert fixing holes to the coupler every 600 millimeters. Make sure the couplers are positioned to the correct side to connect with the door frame and the drainage holes are positioned at the bottom and at the external face of the light. Place the door fixings to the door frame from the light glazing channel. This way, no screw heads will be on show when the door is open. The need for any sill should be determined at the beginning of the project. The sill should have an overhang of at least 25mm from the face of the building. The installer should determine how the sill should be fitted, taking into account features such as horns. An additional 100mm length of sill is provided to allow for shoe horns. Measure and cut the sill to the required size, taking into account for shoe horns if desired. Position the sill in place. Use a spirit level to assess the level of the sill. If required, place packers under the sill. Check the level and adjust if necessary. Run a bead of silicon along the surface and position the sill in place. No screws should be put into the threshold or sill. Run a bead of silicon along the back of the sill and position the frame into place. Remove the packers placed between the door slab and frame before setting the door.
Pack the frame at the top opening corner and the bottom hinge side. Push the bottom hinge side corner into place back on the sill. Fix the bottom rail and plumb the door to suit from this fixing. The fixing would ideally be 150 millimeters from the bottom. Toe and heel the frame just as you would if installing a glass pane. When placing fixings to the hinge side frame, ensure the frame is sat true and level. The door must be fitted square and plumb. If not plumb, the door will either swing open or close on its own to the angle it is set to. Check your running line, and if it is out of twist, it will show on the slab. If the line is not level and is too high on the keep side, the easiest way to alter is to adjust the frame. Loosen all keep side fixings and use packers to lift the frame. Toe and heel the frame, just as you would if installing a glass pane. It is good practice when fitting a composite door to allow the running line to be slightly higher at the keep end. Main adjustments should always be made to the frame. Once happy with the running line and door operation, place fixings within the frame head. Fixings through the door threshold is not advised, and a bead of silicon is recommended. If side lights require a bottom fix, ensure that adhesive is placed on the drilled hole and the inserting screw to completely seal the fixing. AeroSeal 1101 adhesive is the preferred choice. It is likely you will find a natural bow on the key, which will require correcting by packing out. The use of packers can assist the frame to not bow out. For more information relating to the use of packers, fixings, and to see diagrams demonstrating their suitable positions, please refer to the Ultimate Collection Door Installation Guide. If the latch is catching or not sitting flush into the keep, you can adjust the keep, remove the screws, adjust the suit and fix in the altered position. If required, the hinges can be fine-tuned. Use an Allen key to turn clockwise and send the door towards the hinge, and anti-clockwise to send towards the latch. Make sure you provide equal number of turns to both bolts. If you wish to move the door slightly up or down, remove the hinge, cover plates and use an Allen key to adjust. By loosening the top bolt anti-clockwise and tightening the bottom bolt clockwise, this will move the hinge upwards. Use the level line as guidance. 
to lower the door, follow the same method, but turning in the opposite direction. Make sure you provide equal number of turns to both bolts on all hinges. The level line will display the adjustments made. Make sure the same amount and adjustment direction is made to all door hinges. Efforts must be made during installation to ensure that debris such as wet plaster does not foul drainage parts nor impair operation of hardware. Neither sand or cement nor plaster should be used to fill the gap between the frame and the structural opening. All protective films on the outer frame profiles and door facings should be removed as soon as the installation is finished and prior to perimeter sealing. Attach the sill end caps using adhesive to seal and fix in place. Depending on the property and its structural material, additional trims may be suitable to create a frame window. Additional trims are not included. The purpose of a perimeter sealant is to prevent water and air leakage between the aperture and the door set. When sealing perimeter joints, take care to ensure any drainage channels are not blocked or obstructed. After installation, a final inspection should be carried out to ensure that the installation is of the highest standard. A general checklist is provided on page 18 of the Ultimate Collection Composite Door Installation Guide. After installation, the homeowner should be given a copy of the end user instructions and a full demonstration should be shown to the customer.